about Amazon? What does 2018 look like for Amazon? Amazon, I think, you know, the future looks incredibly bright for them. Um, you know, we expect them to spend north of four billion or more this year in content, almost um, double what they've spent thus far. Uh, so when you think about Amazon, right? So they've got this core business of, uh, you know, e-commerce, where they, you know, kind of the de facto, um, you know, leader gaining market share not just in the U.S. and internationally. Then you've got all these other ancillary businesses, uh, which are driving huge. Um, you know, subscriber growth in their prime membership. So think about video, you know, hardware devices, you know, all the Echo and Alexa devices. So Amazon, I think they really have their A game right now where they've kind of um, taken a step back and started to look critically at areas where they're going to be investing even more aggressively. Um, they're doing that already in, in international markets such as India and China. So I think the playbook is somewhat similar to Netflix, where they're kind of doing all the things, blocking and tackling within the domestic market, and kind of also aggressively expanding internationally, where you have markets like India um, you know, having huge upside and barely even tapped by any of these companies. So that's where you're seeing international becoming more and more of, of, a, of a major catalyst, which I don't think is properly reflected in the share prices. And is there anything that could mess it up for Bezos or could completely derail Amazon? Well, with Amazon, you never know. As you know, investors always scratch their heads. What's going to be, um, you know, that's not next quarter or the other quarter where, um, you know, um, spending is going to get out of hand and potentially, um, you know, push the uh, company into a loss situation. So I think for them, the challenge to your question is to demonstrate a consistent track record of profitability, um, you know, quarter in, quarter out, year in, year out. They haven't done that yet. Um, I think they will. They're well positioned to do that. Um, when, when do you think they'll do that? I, I think it's probably a few years out. But, you know, we're very excited about this Amazon Web Services unit, right? The cloud infrastructure uh, business, which, by, you know, far and away is a fastest growing division within Amazon. We think that they could be uh, well positioned to spin that out. Uh, as a separate business, which could unlock further value. So I think if you're Amazon, you're pre, you know, a very good position. You're growing your prime subscriber base um, at a very fast clip around the world. You're investing aggressively in content and hardware devices. Uh, your fulfillment, uh, and, and, you know, centers are, you know, getting a lot of scale benefits. And then uh, the Whole Foods acquisition. Let's not forget about that. Uh, we think that that acquisition is going to provide. Um, additional uh, touch points for the company to, um, you know, grow its other um, ancillary businesses. And, and it seems like that there's no business that's off limits. What's the next business you think Amazon might get into? We think, um, according to our predictions for this year, that Amazon will make an unconventional acquisition in this 2018. And you look at it across the landscape, there's a variety of areas where I think the company um, you know, has what I might call the core uh, infrastructure to enable them, whether it's kind of uh, you know, live ticketing, for example, uh, or even uh, you know, pharmaceuticals uh, distributorship, um, apparel, um, you know, other segments or categories within retail where the company could potentially uh, you know, take the next level and invest aggressively and disrupt um, you know, the traditional players, which is what they do best.